$100,000 is 25% of the way to 1 million. No, this isn't clickbait, it's actually true. One of the most common problems with new investors is they easily get discouraged by what feels like poor results. And for investors who have the goal of having a portfolio value of $1 million, early on it can feel like you're hardly making progress. But here's the good news. You are far closer than you think, and in this video, I'm going to explain why. Let's go ahead and look at a simple example. Say that you decide you want a $1 million portfolio, so you decide that you're going to invest $10,000 every year until you get there. Let's assume you achieve around a 7% annual return on your money, which is close to the historic market average. After consistently investing $10,000 a year for 7.84 years, you reach a portfolio value of $100,000. That's a pretty massive accomplishment, but at the same time, you may feel discouraged because it took you 7.84 years to achieve this. So when we think about this on the surface level, if it took us 7.84 years to make our first 100,000, we still have 900,000 to go to reach 1 million. So by that logic, shouldn't the formula be 7.84 years times nine, since we still have $900,000 to go, and that would mean we still have 70.56 years to make it to 1 million, but I have phenomenal news for you. This just isn't correct. It doesn't take into account the most powerful force in investing, compound interest. Let's look at the correct example. So again, looking at this correct example, we're assuming we're investing $10,000 a year at a 7% interest rate. Now in this scenario, again, it took us 7.84 years to go from $0 to $100,000. But because of compound interest, the amount of time it takes us to reach each subsequent $100,000 starts to decrease over time. And in fact, by the time you get to $900,000, the time it takes to go from 900K to 1 million takes only 1.35 years. And here's where I make my point that $100,000 is 25% of the way to $1 million. We can see the total amount of time it took us to reach $1 million was 30.73 years in this scenario. And because it took us 7.84 years to reach our first $100,000, that's 25.5% of the total amount of time it takes us to reach 1 million. And this is why reaching that first 100K is so important. Getting to $100,000 can take some time, but once you hit that mark, the snowball effect really starts to take place. And again, we can see the amount of time it takes to go from 900,000 to 1 million is only 1.35 years. That's almost six times as fast as it took us to go from $0 to $100,000. And in order to really show the power of compound interest, I built out a spreadsheet showing it in detail with it charted out. Let's go ahead and look at this example and I'll zoom in and you can see in this scenario, we're assuming a beginning balance of $1,000 with a 10% annual rate of return over a 40 year time period, contributing $100 every month or $1,200 every year. If I zoom back out, we can see this has been modeled out over a 40 year time period, but this is where things get interesting. If we zoom in and look at this chart over here, we can see the orange is our total interest and the blue is our total principal. Now the total principal is the total amount of money that we've contributed over this time period. But because the money we make can make us even more money, we can see that compound interest makes up the vast majority of our gains over that time. So for example, if we scroll back over to my model, we can see in the first year we make $100 in interest, but because that interest will make us even more interest, the next year we make 230, the next year 373, the next year 530, and if we scroll down all the way to the bottom of our 40 year time period, we could see we could make $52,288 in this scenario. And again, that's only from contributing $100 a month over a 40 year time period. And what's even crazier about this is the ending balance of the scenario would come out to $576,370. Now imagine what's possible if you invest even more than $100 a month. So imagine for just a moment, let's say we try to invest something crazy like $1,000 a month. That would come out to $12,000 for the entire year. And let's even lower our annual rate to closer to the market average of around 8%. We can see in that scenario, our end balance comes up to over $3.1 million. Personally, I'm a dividend investor and this compound interest formula allows me to project exactly how long it will be able to take to live off the dividend payments that go straight into my bank account. So for example, I built out a more advanced model to project this. And I also have a cost of living tab as well, where we can see how my cost of living will change over time. Now, when we talk about compounding, it's also important to remember that inflation compounds over time as well. So if your monthly expenses are around $4,000 a month, and inflation on average 
average is around 2% every single year, we can see at the end of a 30 year period, your cost of living will be closer to around $7,245 every month. So the goal to be able to live off your dividend payments has to be to get your dividends above this black line and stay above this black line. And if we jump over to my live off dividends analysis, we can see the red line is my monthly dividend payments and the black line is my monthly cost of living. And the red line is again clearly showing the effects of compound interest. So in this scenario right here where the red line passes the black line is the point at which I can live off my investments. And if we come over here and look at this modeled out, I'll go ahead and zoom in, but we can see when this column turns to yes, that means my monthly dividend surpasses my monthly cost of living. So let's go ahead and find out how far I am out. So currently we're about five years out and I'm still not there. I'm about 10 years out and I'm still not there. But if we scroll down just a little bit further, we can see right here in about 15 and a half years, I could have the potential for my monthly dividends to be higher than my monthly cost of living, meaning I could live off of my investments. So just like Albert Einstein stated, compound interest is truly the eighth wonder of the world. So while it can take a little while to get the snowball rolling, don't get discouraged. The first 100,000 is the hardest and everything after that gets extremely easier. And in fact, $100,000 is 25% of the way to 1 million. If you'd like to use any of the spreadsheets used in this video, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.